Now let us understand the error proofing concept which is there in Profit Annex. Error proofing means to ensure that operating errors does not happen at all. Let me explain you the concept first with some of the examples. We have seen many examples of mistake proofing in our life like while playing a game of jigsaw puzzle or you know the three pin plug or the adapter or even the SIM card you know you will see that one side of the corner has been cut in such a way in the SIM card that you cannot insert it wrongly or similarly the example of petrol tank lead which you cannot forget open and shut the flap in any case. These are the examples of mistake proofing. These examples show us that the process or the product can be designed in such a way that it cannot allow mistake to happen in any case. Now let's see how these features have been put into Profit Annex. In Profit Annex, we have designed variety of options which support mistake proofing. For example, when we go to open any account, we have added a field called account category. Now what we have seen in past is that many a times operators who are not well versed with accounting keep on making mistake while selecting a particular group for the account name. Whereas by placing account category, if the operator knows that my account is a bank account, he will automatically get the group selection limited to only bank account. Or if he knows that my account is a capital account, he will automatically get the selection of group as capital equity. Not only this, for example, if you select a category of discount and other charges, when you enter the details over here, you know, whether the effect should be given to sales or purchase or both and if you want to deduct the discount and if you give the percentage say 5% then you can choose whether the discount has to be given on 5% of the quantity or amount or tax paid amount or transaction value or a fixed value. After you select this and when you actually go to enter your sales bill there won't be any mistake made in terms of how that 5% has to be calculated. Let us see some other examples of error proofing. For example, when you open the product, we have kept a provision to select purchase account, purchase return account, sales account and sales return account and select that along with the product. Now what happens is if you have selected or pre-selected such accounts while you enter your purchase or sales transactions there can never be any mistake of wrong selection of purchase or sales account. Not only this there is excellent setup called voucher prefix setup. What happens is supposing if you are entering the sales transaction you can select the prefix for the sales transaction and you can define the tax which will be applicable when you enter the data through this particular prefix. Now, if you enter a tax invoice with this prefix, how the taxes shall be applied is defined here. If you enter a retail invoice with this prefix, how the taxes will applied will be is written over here and likewise. So what happens is after defining such prefix, if you go to the transaction, and if you enter a sales entry, now we pick up a product. In fact, there is a provision that if you have defined the party wise rates with every product, those rates will also come automatically over here. The moment you have entered the quantity rate and amount, you will see that all kinds of taxes are automatically defined here. So you cannot make any mistake while definition of taxes because they have been defined with your prefix, with your invoice type and with the party in such a way that no mistake can really happen. 
in fact in the account master i can show you that even while opening a customer account there is a provision to select the party category for the rate master as well as the excise category for the rate master and the invoice type so that if you are sure that you are going to always make a retail invoice for this client the moment you select the client retail invoice will come automatically so this is how we have ensured in profit annex that no mistakes can ever happen for example one more example let me show you in terms of a setup for example we have given a category filter setup that means in your sales bill whenever you are preparing a sales invoice which kind of accounts should appear for the selection would you like only customer accounts to appear for the selection in the list of customers or you may like to make a invoice for an account which is defined under liability or loan or a supplier this choice is given to you to ensure that there is never any mistake in the selection of account similar kind of selection is available for purchase party purchase account purchase return account sales party sales account and sales return account so by and large it has been ensured that no errors can happen during data entry let me show you one more example in terms of sales transaction supposing you you have just modified one of the invoice which was previously defined now by mistake operator you know changes the tax or excise structure for whatever reason if he will try to go and save this transaction he will receive this kind of message stating that the earlier calculation of tax was this much the new calculation of tax is this much whether it is right or wrong so that even if he makes any mistake which is which happens without his knowledge then also the software will provide you proper functions now there is one more case sometimes what happens is that while we are preparing invoice for a particular party we want to know the information about the previous invoices which we have made for the same party here while doing this if you press control h you can get a complete history of all the invoices which you have raised for this particular party in past and this starts from like this was the last invoice made on 27th of march you can go to previous that was on 25th that then again 23rd so you can come to know the complete history of all the previous invoices made for the same party this also helps you a lot in avoiding any kind of mistakes while entering the data for profit annex